All right. Hold on. Let me pause that. All right. Well, here I go to clean out this intake. Um, I'm just going to let all this crap go wherever it feels like. So it'll drip into the oil pan, which I really don't care because I'm not going to ever use that oil again. and clean. Oh crap. Okay. So that's clean. Er. And just wipe around there. Let me wipe in the cylinder again. And wipe off this table because it's going to start eating away at that clear coat. And... That's nice. That's very nice. I'm going to clean out where the push rods are. On this side. Just get... all these nooks and crannies... clean. Uh, Get it where it doesn't open any valves, and then just clean this, and probably go ahead and reinstall the head. And there's just a little bit more right here that just like There was just a little bit of junk and gunk, junk and gunk. Just clean up that exhaust port a little bit, which I sanded the exhaust a little bit more. So, the exhaust should be better by now. And now watch, when I open this intake port, a whole bunch of that crap is... I'm just going to go ahead and fill this with carb cleaner real quick. And then open that up. Uh, and give it a few rotations. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the head. Um, just wipe off this crap a little bit more and I'll go ahead and do that head. Oh and if I didn't tell you guys about this head, this head is brand new too. I still have the old head, an old carburetor right here. Um, a friend of mine who stripped the head when he was putting the spark plug in um, uh, so here's that old head with no nothing and just take a look at what the carbon buildup on that is that is freaking just layered with carbon it's here let me just turn this light a little bit to your, toward you that's just layered with carbon right there it's there was no cleaning that off, but this head, I cleaned off a little bit. It's getting gummed up where the port, or where the uh, push rod and crap, or whatever the hell you want to call those are. But this is clean. Uh, but um, you can't really do anything about getting in these cracks and crevices, because no matter what you try to use, it's there's still going to be leftover crap, unless you like sandblast this, which I don't think you can really do without messing it up. Um, and here's that old carburetor. I left a comment on somebody's page today telling them about how I had to replace the carburetor because it would hunt and surge. So here's that old carburetor 
but in, inside it looks fine, but it just, you know, it was messed up, so even the primer bulb was still good, nice and firm primer bulb. It'll probably wear out, but keep these parts just in case. There's gaskets, which I could still use if I need be. And there's the old springs. Um, here's the old springs, the governor springs. This one, still fine. And this one was broken. So, this is the old gasket for the carb to air filter. But I save all that crap and the parts. Uh, sorry about the shaking. Crap, I'm just going to set this down on this chair real quick. I can't do that. Stupid. Stupid. fell off. But I saved the parts that went to the gas can. Um, this is a gasket and there's some more gaskets which goes to the when it seals around the intake pipe but I have that also. This is it's freaking plastic. Briggs and Stratton really need to stop making their POS um carburetors out of plastic because that's just not helping anybody out. So that's the old carburetor. Make sure I get everything back in here. But I kept all the parts that I took off of this thing except for the old air filter. So but this thing Lord carbon built up. Carbon built up but let me put this stuff back away. Um, Lord, there's so much carbon on here. I can't get over that. But, um, let me go ahead and put this crap back and put the head back on.